this video, I will try to explain you the mathematical representation of a traveling wave. So, traveling wave could be, for example, a surface wave on the water, or it could be a sound wave, which is just a concentration and non-concentration of air molecules. So here we have a lot of air molecules and here we have none. So this is a longitudinal wave where as this would be transverse wave. The transverse means that the particles of the medium, in this case water, are moving up and down. And whereas in a, in a longitudinal wave, the particles are moving along or parallel to the direction of the traveling wave. No matter what the case, the movement of these particles of the medium are both described by the same equation. D is called the displacement because it's the displacement of these air or water molecules at any given time t in any given point in space. The general formulation is A times sine kx minus omega t plus some phase angle V. First, uh, let's refresh what are K and Omega. So K is called the wave number. It's defined as 2 pi over lambda, the wavelength. And Omega is 2 pi times the frequency of the oscillation. In this case, the oscillation of the particles of the medium. This is a traveling wave, so it's traveling at some velocity. The velocity is the product of wavelength and frequency. We can use this relation to express lambda. Lambda would be 2 pi over k. And frequency, we can use the omega, so frequency would be omega over 2 pi. Two pi's cancel, so we get the velocity of the wave from these two parameters, which is quite convenient. Let me move this down a little bit. So what is X? X is the location at some point along the travel path of the wave. Let's say the wave is, it is a sound wave, it originates from a siren. It will start traveling away and uh, when it's a distance x away from the source, this is the point where we are observing the displacement of the medium. T is of course the time that we are doing this observation. The sign here before the term omega t in fact tells us which, which direction the wave is traveling. So
travel direction minus means it's traveling to the right and plus means to the left so in our case we would be have we would have a wave that travels to the right which is in fact the case with both of these as well the face angle phi oops the face angle phi shifts the curve to to right if it's negative and to the left if it's positive just to reiterate this D is the displacement of the medium at any given time at any given point in space along the travel path of the way. So this is a quick user's manual to a traveling wave and it will come handy when we need to plot these waves either as a function of time t or as a function of the location x. Pictures with the tips of a finger